Hi, my name is Tiasha, and today we are doing something very special, something that we have all been waiting for. We are doing the unboxing of Elfo Chronicles, the first edition that was crowdfunded in 2021 on Kickstarter. But first, let me introduce the game that is sitting here before me. Elfo Chronicles is a skirmish tabletop war game set in the fantasy world called Kalad. It offers deep dynamic and fast-paced combat, as well as a line of unique and collectible miniatures that immerses the players in a world where battle is commonplace. There are several different ways you can enjoy the game. You can play against other players or against the game itself. And you can always choose cooperation or competition. Now let's start the unboxing. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. You will first be greeted by the printed rules, then the upgrade, scheme, creature profile and hostile cards that come inside of the core box. Here we have the World of Kalad poster and the mat that you place under the scenery pack. There are eight white and black dice. The core box limited Colossus miniature and the four faction starter boxes, each containing four miniatures and four profile cards. The Helian League, the Sand Kingdoms, the Coalition of Tenion, and lastly, the Emperor of Soga. Next are the punch boards, the scenery pack, the templates, the measuring sticks, and tokens. Moving on to the Urden Creatures expansion. Again, inside are four creature cards and four hostile cards of the creatures along with the seven miniatures. The core box together with the Urden Creatures expansion form the Warlord bundle. Here are the close-ups of the separate components. Now for a quick look at how you assemble a miniature while I tell you a bit about them. The miniatures are made with a silicon injection method and made of next generation resin, created especially for our line of miniatures. It brings out the fine details and wonderfully elevates them, but retains durability. In this way, it's similar to hard plastic. The miniatures are also easy to work with, the different parts slide together and only a small amount of super glue is needed. You can also sand the surface or correct any bent parts by holding them under hot water, bending them back in place and quenching them with cold water. They can be primed and painted with any paint, but we recommend acrylic paints. Please check out our other videos on how to play the game. Subscribe to our newsletter that is available on our webpage. And keep an eye out for the Northern Wind expansion that will be coming next year in 2023 on Kickstarter. All the links are down below in the description box and please join us next time.